This is Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. Today we're working on connection. Trudy wants to work more on keeping the rainbow in her gates. That's very nice. Play with softening the jaw. Soften her jaw on the outside. Think a little leg yield to make sure she's on the outside rein and leg. So we've done this. Uh, this might be the might be the tenth time we've cantered Annie, where we've asked her to stay be balanced between the connection of the rein and the legs. Good, good. That's all right. She keep changing directions. Think leg yield before you change directions, so you make sure she's on that outside rein and leg. So uh, Trudy's balancing her laterally between the outside rein and leg and the inside rein and leg. And to do that, where Annie is right now, she's thinking of the leg yield feeling. That's right. Think leg yield, so she goes against your new outside rein and leg. Take your time. Let her make a lot of mistakes. It's just a game. So it just takes practice doing it over and over and over again until it becomes a habit. This is actually one of the nicer canters that Annie's been giving us where she's almost connected. Shorten your outside rein. You're not going to believe this. Three inches. So just do it a little at a time until you're there. Feel her pick you up different. Yep, you just that's good, Trudy. Praise her a lot. Good, Trudy. That's it. That's all right. She's, she won't know what to do with it because she's never cantered in that place before. Now, it's harder to um, get her as um, in the rainbow to the left cater lead so far, right away. So yes, it is. That was nice, though. She gave you some beautiful steps. And again, these are the steps for a horse just learning how to stay. Outside rain is too long connected and we're not asking for a pulling on the outside rein. It's just if the horse's nose is up, they're not stepping into the rein from the rider's legs so that it's easier if the rider softens their jaw on the outside. Soften her jaw on the outside with a leg yield so that the horse releases their, their jaw which releases their pole and their back. And this is a big change. <laughs> it's alright. It's This is exactly what horses do when they're first learning how to do this. You know, they don't know what's going on. She doesn't understand why you want her to stay connected between your rein connection and your leg. So you just be patient with her process. Keep asking for a mini stretch, especially on the outside rein. Can you get a mini stretch? Good. Take your time, and they'll flip their heads back and forth and do all kinds of things at first. This is normal in the training process, and with time it gets better. Yep, needs to have more suppling on the outside rein. Her nose is up. So as long as her nose is up, the rider does not have enough feel on the outside rein. Think leg yield, push her over. Very nice, praise her. Think leg yield, push her over, bring her nose. That's it, keep playing with the feeling of the leg yield. Outside rein is too long. It sounds so easy from the ground, doesn't it? Good, take your time, take your time. That's right. Get her to stretch on the outside. Good, Trudy. Praise her. Think leg yield. Her haunches are in. I'm filming as I'm coaching for those of you who want to know. And, of course, to see more videos of Trudy and Miss Annie and their training progress, you can go to the playlist area of this channel under Trudy and Melody. I mean, Annie. And we've been filming their process for about four years now before they got to this point. Good. Supple her on the outside. Check her on the outside. Outside rein towards... That's it. Get her under your seat. Pick up your outside rein until you feel her picking up your seat. Good. Is she picking up your seat? Shorten the outside rein until you feel her lift her shoulder up. That's where she should be. Good. Praise her. Good. Take a break. That's enough. That's three minutes. That's four minutes. That's plenty of canter time. That was good. What were you... What were you feeling? What's better? But I, I know in the very beginning, uh, and I, I guess we'll get past it, like we have with the walking trot, but you cannot pick her up or she ain't going to go forward and she's just going to buckle it. So she's saying that in the beginning she finds that she can't put her together well, to and then ask her to go forward. So she feels she has to give her, in the has to give her a little bit looser right. range. That's right. But to the left, I have to... And she's I noticing know. that one side, well, like with any horse, one side is more difficult for the horse and the rider than the other side. All right, so we're going to let them cool down now. Again, that was like a four-minute session. That's enough for the canter work at this level. 
Again, this is Randy Thompson coming to you live, and you can check out what we're doing right here on this YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe for more.